Hey guys, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to Let Code. In this video, we are going to learn about one of the most important topic in JavaScript that is callback. Um, so we have covered the callback with creator examples in the playwright tutorial and the playwright, I mean in the protector tutorial, in the protector playlist. But I don't have a video separate where I have to cover this callback. So thought of just doing it now. Sorry for the delay. But if you have watched any of my protector video, you know that I have already covered it. Okay. So I'm just going to give you an um, example that is only related to JavaScript or TypeScript. And you can uh, you can understand it better. Okay. So first of all, I have a folder called basic. Within that, I have a file called callback demo j demo dot js and here we are going to take a scenario where i'm going to upload a video i'm going to publish that video and i'm going to send a notification to all my subscribers so this is the concept i mean the demo scenario of this example so let's see how that works okay so first of all i'm going to create a function called upload video and first of all let me write a console log where i'm going to say like uploading video okay and upload video will take some time so let me use the timeout let's assume that we are going to take a uh, time for like three seconds not a real time time but yeah we are just going to wait for like three seconds after that we'll say like upload done okay so this is my first function upload video where we will just we are like doing the uploading and set timeout set timeout is also a great example of callback so if you see within the set timeout we are passing an argument and the argument is function so basically what is callback in the sense like callback is nothing but an argument that is sent to a function where the argument is going to be another function okay so here we have a set timeout and after the timeout this particular line will be executed okay so for example if i have to call this function upload video and if i run this now so if i go to the folder and if i use my node then followed by callback demo you can see uploading video comes first and after the three seconds upload done message is coming okay so i hope you understood this this is very simple just calling a function declaring a function and calling it okay now what we are going to do is we are going to do the same but this time it's going to be like oh, not this one we are going to publish the video right so publish video so here I will say like um, publishing and then I'm going to say like publish done okay so and set timeout will change this to two seconds uh, 2000 milliseconds so obviously it is like two seconds okay and once that is done I'm going to send a notification so I will say like notify subscribers okay and i don't need timeout here so here i will just send a like notification that's it okay now we have called the upload function similarly once upload is done i have to call the public publish video and once the video is published then i'm going to call the notify subscriber okay so we are expecting this to be executed in a synchron synchronized so there are two types of uh there are two two ways to do the things in javascript one is the synchronized way another one is the asynchronized way synchronized means if you have passed like one two three and the execution will be in the same order one two three but if it's asynchronized that means the order will be completed that is guaranteed but not in the same sequence for example the output can be like three two one or two three one or any other similar way okay but of course it is not guaranteed that it will be done in the same order so in this example let me ask you a question what do you think what will be the output for this particular thing so we are calling the upload video first that means this line first and then followed by the upload done because we have the timeout we already have seen this then i'm calling the publish video so this will be like publishing video and after two seconds publishing is done Finally, we will say like notification sent. So this is the synchronized way of running. That is what we are expecting. But if I run this, let's see what happens. You can see uploading video, publishing video, notification sent. After that, publishing is done and upload is done, which is 
absolutely wrong and this works based on the asynchronized because we have timeout so timeout doesn't wait for a particular thing to complete it will just go and see for another because we have timeout it will come after the timeout so this is the problem in real time this is called asynchronized way to avoid the or to uh, to avoid the asynchronous conflict we have something called callback so we are going to use the callbacks to solve this how can we do that very simple let me give you an example for that so i said that callback is nothing but a function that is passed to another function as an argument for example here i'm going to make it like callback which is my callback function as an argument and what is this callback this is a function i am i'm going to call it here why i'm calling it here because once that timeout thing is done i want to invoke my callback in callback is what callback is a function as an argument right similarly here i'm going to set like published callback okay why i'm doing this in the sense like callback is not your keyword don't think that just because i have written callback it is a keyword so instead of that here i have said like published callback just to make you understand it can be a b c as well nothing wrong about it it this is not a keyword actually callback is not a keyword it's a working type okay so here i mean it's a function basically so published callback and i'm going to call this after the publish is done okay now uh for notification subscriber i don't need because there is no timeout so it will be obviously synchronized whenever we call this should work fine at least this line so that's fine okay now does this will solve my problem no it will not solve so if i go and run this now it will end up with an exception because we are passing this callback and we are passing this function but we are not using this function anywhere right so i mean we are using this function callback but we are not passing that to anywhere so i have to do that let's see how to do that i'm going to command this now and here i'm going to say like upload video where i have to pass my callback what is callback callback is basically function so here i'm going to say like function and then followed by i'm going to so here this is callback where we have the function and this function basically once upload is done upload videos then what we have to do we have to publish the video so here i'm going to say like publish video and publish video have publish video callback so what is callback of course it's a function so i have to call the functions again and within the function i'm going to call my notification subscriber okay so that's it we are pretty much done i did some mistake i guess yeah i have this bracket missing over here and here yeah that's it so this is how it works now if i run this let's see what happens uploading video is doing after three seconds done uploading done publishing video after two seconds publish is done lastly it's sending the notifications so if you call in this way it will be like your asynchronized behavior and if you call like this this is will be synchronized so this is what calling a function or passing a function as an argument that is what callback is okay so here if i go inside this upload video here you can see like we have a callback and we have called this because after the timeout i want to do some action so basically we'll call this function now this function basically has a internal function called publish video that will have a another function that's a callback okay now can we do this only can we do something other than this of course we can do for example we can pass even the data so for example when i pass like upload video i want to know what is the video title or maybe like video description so for example here i can say like const then followed by data and then followed by i can have my video title which is going to be something like this is some description about callback okay something like that so we have this data now i want to pass this data okay so of course i can pass this data here so like video data which is my first argument and callback is my second argument and then i have this video data again where published callback is my second and for the notification subscriber of course i want to get the video data because i want to send the data to my subscriber for example i can simply say like i can do something like plus and then followed by video data dot 
title okay so what is video data data dot title in the sense like this data dot title so we'll pass this data eventually let's see okay now what we have to do so in the callback we have to pass the video data so that i can use that to my published video so for example published video has two arguments now one is the callback that already we have called but we have to get the video data where we are going to get the video data in the sense like from here from the callback we are passing to the another function now here also we have to pass the video data so that i can use that in my notification subscriber now what will change here in the sense like this is my callback right so this is my callback leave this just focus on this particular upload video so upload video has what upload video has is expecting video data to be passed and also the callback callback is already addressed here now i have to pass the data so of course this is the data i want to pass so this data i want to pass it here so here it has a function and the function now will also get the data for example it is like your uploaded data so from where we are getting this this is we are getting from this so callback has a argument so this is my function which is working as a callback and this guy needs the data now this data will be passed over here okay not here okay and then followed by this guy is going to return me some data so for example this is going to be my published data and i can use this in my notification i mean notify subscriber okay so let's go and run this now let's see so uploading video and uploading video after three seconds is done publishing video publishing sent okay so let me give, make it more clear to you so here i'm going to say like uploading done then followed by video data dot title similarly i'm going to say this guy as well okay so now let's go and run this uploading video uploading video done with the title then followed by uh, published video publishing video with this title and the notification okay so how does it work so basically published call which is accepting a video data that is passed from the previous function so we have sent the same here as well okay so that is how callbacks works callback is nothing but a function passed to another function as an argument so if you already know about the functions which i have already covered in detail so basically we can this is what function this is what function and this is what called anonymous function now anonymous function is there right so we don't even have to use the callback uh, like the function keyword everywhere instead of that we can also use the arrow syntax the fat arrow so for example here i can just change this to this i can remove the function keyword i can change this to this okay so if i go and run this now of course it will work so same concept instead of function keyword you can give the arrow that should also do the same work okay so i hope you understood what is callback and how does this help us to perform asynchronous things into synchronized um callback and promises are actually different topic but both are used to solve the same problem that is to make the call synchronized i will try to cover the promises as well already i have given so much example in the in terms of automation but if it's come to only javascript i might i might not have covered so that's the reason i'm making this video now okay and you can all also watch this video in the tamil language i will send the link i will attach the link in the description or maybe in the pinned comment you can go and check it out if you have any queries feel free to ask me in the comments and if you want to share some screenshot you are welcome to our discord community that's it from my side thanks for watching see you in the next one very soon bye bye take care